Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Hallelujah. We can be living sanctuaries for God. Living epistles. Praise God. And you know what? If you'll commit your life today to be a living epistle for Jesus, to be a sanctuary for him to dwell in, then you know what? One of these days, as well as today, oh, you'll be so glad. Like the old song says, you'll be so glad you live for Jesus, for him. Because the Bible says that we were made by him and for him. We were made by him and we were made for him. You wasn't made to do your own thing. We were made for a purpose in this world. I used to sing a song a long time ago when I was a little girl. I was born to serve the Lord. Praise God. I was born to serve the Lord. And you were born to serve the Lord. And it's high time. This world is winding down. And if you're going to serve the Lord, you better do it now. I'm not trying to scare you. But you know what? If scaring you will open your eyes and make you realize that you need Jesus, then so be it. But just look around you at all the things that are happening. Every ungodly thing, everything that God is against seem like the world is for. The world is for everything that God is against. People are spiritually blind. And, and the ones that are not totally spiritually blind are dead. They're dead or spiritually dead or spiritually blind. A lot of religious folk are spiritually blind. 